What's going on everybody, it's Jay Coffee Talk, thanks for tuning in everybody, hope you guys are having a great day, take a quick moment, hit the bell, hit the subscribe, help my channel grow, but let's get right into this y'all, got some news coming out of the hip hop world, I don't know if you guys saw this today, this, uh, this list popped up on Twitter, and I had everyone talking, this thing was tr trending like crazy, and pay attention to the images popping up on the screen, you guys will see it, it says, top 50 greatest rappers of all time so the top 10 go jay-z nas joe budden styles p black dot fabulous jada biggie ghostface and kendrick uh you know you see lloyd banks is at 50 he he hopped on twitter you see he put out a couple tweets he, he put out a laughing emoji and then he put out another tweet that said last though i'm trash with that laughing so hard like you're crying emoji and a lot of people were talking about this myself included like everyone you know it's like a lot of people just disagreed uh with this list let me know how you guys feel about it though in the comments if you're new to the channel comment threads really important on my channel guys always want to hear your feedback so make sure to tap in but um yeah man everyone's like where'd this list come from you know and then a lot of people started speculating um, you know thinking joe budden you know as you see he came in at number three and uh joey sent out a couple tweets like nah man it wasn't me you know and um i trolled him i ain't even gonna front i put out a couple instagram uh posts trolling joey a little but i'll get back to that in a minute but after a little digging we found out it is a podcast that I'm definitely gonna check out now, man. Um, I've never listened to these guys before, but if you guys mess with my channel, you'll constantly hear me say, you know, I listen to, you know, five to 10 podcasts a week. I'm a, I'm a big fan of podcasts. You know, that is my plan, my dream to have a podcast someday, you know, but I'm starting out here with this YouTube channel. It is what it is, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, so make sure you guys, as I said, subscribe, help me grow on my journey. But anyways, um, it's they're called the Brew Podcast, and they're out of Cincinnati. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know they they tweeted out and was like, "Nah, you guys, it was it was us, it was us." You know what I mean? And you know everyone eventually fell back off Joey, as you see. Though they the pressure was on, everyone really was like, "How Joe Budden get at number three, man? He he either put this list out or or he paid someone to make this list or something like that." But anyways, man. These couple uh, posts that I put out on Instagram where I was trolling Joey, I basically, um, you know, was saying, hey, man, I remember the last time there was a hip hop uh, list, you know, rating MCs and things like that. It, it turned out kind of bad for you. You got punched in the face. But uh, I wasn't really, you know, I don't know. Just thought I'd throw it out there. Thought maybe it'd be funny to do or whatever. I got no beef with Joe Budden or nothing like that. But I don't know if you guys remember this, man. I'm going to play this quick clip for you guys. Hi, Joe. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Good. 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 Now, Joe. You're a funny guy, Joe. No, 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 why am I funny? No, the, the video that you put up when you're talking about the brackets and who made the list, I'm saying you're just generally funny, like in a good way. Hip-hop annoys me, man. I see, I mean, that's, what, that's what came across on the video, tell us why hip-hop annoys you. Hip-hop is just, I don't know, maybe I've out, maybe I've grown, outgrew hip-hop, I don't, I don't really know. But in the beginning of the video that I put out there, I mean, I explained my, my problem with it because you have these guys who hide behind these publications. We have no knowledge of them. We don't, we don't know their, their credibility. We don't know who they are. And they just put out a list. They're not mad enough to put their name behind the list and, and stay in mind what they, what they write. I'm a, I'm a firm believer in being able to stand behind what you say. Oh, absolutely. So you, you honestly think in your heart of hearts that you're better than Method Man. Now, 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 now slow, slow down. Because along the way from that video, you know, this is this is gotten, you know, it's turned into every different story in the world. First and foremost, I'm, I'm not stupid. I know exactly who Method Man is. Right. And I know who Red Man is, and I know what these, these guys have done for, for, for hip hop. I'm, I'm totally aware of their iconic status. I'm aware of all the accolades. You know, I'm, I'm aware. Like, don't think that I'm some, some little rapping dude just coming up. It's like, oh, that's him. That's not what I'm saying. Well, my point in that video was, 
feel that way. No, that's a fact. No, that's how you feel, Joe. It's not a fact. I'm quite sure that there's people out there that will agree with you, and there's no, people no, 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 out there no, no, that no. would disagree with you. As, as, as. See, but that's, that's the difference. I'm not looking for anybody to agree or disagree. I can prove what I'm saying. Uh, wow. Okay, well, that's, that's a huge... Uh, that's a huge... Uh, all right, so you guys heard that footage there. That was Joe Budden when he called in, you know, on the radio. He was talking to Ad Lover. And what the deal was, you know, <clears throat> back then, that was when Joe Budden was real heavy into YouTube with Joe Budden TV. Him and, you know, Joel Ortiz, uh, you know, group mate from Slaughterhouse, had took issue. Joey mainly took issue. I mean, Joel had a few things to say, but... But not, you know, the way Joey did. He took issue with these brackets that Vibe came out. And you'll see um, a set of brackets popping up on the screen, you know, with the images and everything. I'm not sure if that's the exact bracket it was back then. But, you know, basically they were doing an NCAA. I believe, I want to say this was around like 09. If you guys remember exactly when it was, tap in. But tap in in the comments regardless uh, what your memories it is and what you guys thought of this whole situation. But, um, you know... They were doing an NCAA March Madness, you know, tournament style um, brackets of greatest rapper ever. And um, I believe Eminem actually ended up winning it. But Joe Budden just felt like a lot of people shouldn't have been in there. And, you know, uh, he didn't agree with where a lot of people were ranked and things of that nature. And he, as you heard on the radio there, Method Man was one of the people he became very critical of. And you know this turned into a, a a beef man like there's a lot more audio this actual you know clip that i played there's a lot more audio just from that clip but you guys can go you know research and and check out all the other old videos and everything but you know joe budden just basically said that he felt he, he wasn't saying method man was straight trash he was just saying method man wasn't what he once was you know he, he even said he at one point when he came up in the rap game emulated rap uh uh method man out oh. and um i don't know if i said red man but at one point when i was talking about him but anyways method man he gave red man props as well too that's why uh red man was on my mind but um you know what i'm saying he he said i'll wash method man up so you know uh Things got a little heated and later on, you know, um, I believe they were touring or something like that. I can't remember where exactly it was, but Joey bumped into some Wu-Tang affiliates and... Stupid me, I weave this shit and get fucking hit in the shoulder and now my shoulder's fucking done off. Good thing it's my right shoulder. Shit. It wasn't my eye. It was like the side of my eye or some shit. No, you, got a, you got a nasty eye. Oh, what am I have? A black what? side of my eye? Yeah, he has a nasty eye. Why did you apologize? Because I was outnumbered at the one. And he asked for one. So I figured it was the smart thing to do at the time. Dude's name was Hans. He was a Wu affiliate, as I said. As you guys know, you know, um, there's the Wu Tang Killer Bees and, and and everything, but there's a lot of other Wu Tang affiliates. Um, I forget. I, I want to say it was someone from Raekwon, um, like American Cream Team or Ice Water. I can't remember. Now Slim 400's got an Ice Water, but didn't Raekwon have an Ice Water? Or I don't know, man. But it was, you know, from one of the, one of those, um, you know, their side projects outside of Wu-Tang. Uh, this dude Hans put hands on him, snuffed him, ended up doing that Vlad interview that you see a little uh, screenshot from. 
and you know Joe Budden learned uh, a very hard lesson and um, I never understood why he went live there you know with his face all swole up I just didn't think it was a good look I kind of thought it was kind of corny you you guys can let me know what y'all thought about that but um I don't know this whole list just kind of reminded me of all this and as you know on this channel that's what I do you know I talk hip-hop I talk music I talk sports I talk the news I talk whatever but um you know this whole list just reminded me of this so wanted to throw this little uh video and blog together and uh you know see who else remembers this and who else uh you know if the, if that clicked with y'all today too when this was going on with joe budden you know what i'm saying if if uh you you remember you thought about this whole situation but um i'm gonna close this video out now thanks for tuning in as i said if you didn't in the beginning if you didn't already now take that quick moment hit that thumbs up button that like that subscribe and the notification bell stay up to date on the channel make sure you know always to get in the comments because it's all about your guys feedback as i said and for football fans i got a lot of nfl content coming uh you know for this upcoming season but i'm gonna close uh the video out with a little more footage as we know you know slaughterhouse is no more but they were dope that's a whole nother video i could do about slaughterhouse how how things turned out with them it still bothers me man such a such a dope group man everyone's got bars for real in, in slaughterhouse but um slaughterhouse um other group mate royce the five nine you know um he he had some words for for the, uh you know some of the wu-tang affiliates who who were there when that happened with joey so i'm gonna close that out with that royce footage for y'all thanks for tuning in guys look forward to talking with the comments catch you guys on the next video peace